And then, let's see if I can find a link. Ouch. Does that work? I'll just put it in general. Let me see. Worked for me. I can see it. Nice. Well, I, I I was on your YouTube channel already, though. So. Ooh. Yeah, I saw that right when I made it live. There were already two people. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> he wasn't actually back. He just popped in to say that, and then... <laughs> no, I'm so back. I'm... I just didn't want oh, to say right. anything else. There was nothing more to say. I thought you were like on the john, but you just couldn't hold it in. So you just <laughs> had to pop in long enough to. <laughs> Poor choice of words there. Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> Warren does not specialize in words. <gasps> Let's see, is this working properly? Yeah, it is. All right, yeah, it looks like we're good. Um, if you want to go ahead and just throw up some links to the Discord and the main channel and the summary you've got there, it'd be awesome. Yeah. All right, so how ready are we on a scale of one to no? <laughs> one. Um, go. Go is not part of the scale. Mm, I see. So five. Got it. Because, you know, the Japanese word for five is go. That's true. Clever, clever. It's still not on the scale. Uh, you know. <laughs> so when everyone's oh, ready okay. to do this nonsense, I'm going to roll and see who gives the recap. I was born ready. And grew old ready. <laughs> and became boring ready. Yes, yes. <laughs> Can't forget the old and boring. I was born by the boring, shaped by the boring. I forget how that quote goes. Molded by the boring. I did not see excitement till I was already a man. All right, everybody. Joshua, are you alive? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna roll. Should I roll in chat or should I roll? Whichever. Let's see. Roll. It's uh. supposed to be a question mark. <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> the official one is two. Thank you. Coding, am I right? <laughs> and that's two down from the top. So, hey, Burl. Oh boy. It looks good for me, this team. <sighs> okay, uh, we're, we're working our way through the Crystallity and we finally made it there. And I put a sign on Warren that says he was old and boring, because he is. And he's been traveling this whole time with a sign on his back that says I'm old and boring and hasn't noticed it. Um, and then My Warren decided he wanted to... My is very low. Yeah, it was pretty great. <clears throat> and then Warren decided he wanted to go check out a clock tower, so we did. And apparently there's a clock tower for every one of these 13, did you say, cities in this whole place? Yes. Uh, so we were like, oh, alright, well we'll go check out the first one. And so we climbed all the way, well no, we didn't climb to the top yet. We are looking for secret doors. We wanted to explore the whole thing, so we went down. No, and, we made uh, it to the top. We, we did after we went down. We found all some right. cool stuff down below, though. 
I healed three broken golems, and they are now following me. Um, and then we got down to the bottom, and there was like some kind of grotto thing down there. Uh, Mr. Fishman, I think, dove down and grabbed a couple of things, like some mermaid jar. And I took a couple of plates. And uh, then we went up to the top, and Kuratash was like, I need to kill something. So he went off and he bought himself a golem, and he killed it in cold blood and murder, and it was really actually kind of terrifying. And he comes back, and he's all covered with blood, and we're like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm fine. And we're like, that doesn't look like you're fine. He's like, I'm fine. So now we're all kind of like really worried about him. Um, I believe we just ended up spending the last of the time traveling, and we we went into like a broken down, not a broken down, but uh, a poor inn for the night. Um, and I think that's where we left off. Does anybody remember anything I don't? Uh, nope. Do, do you know where, uh, was it, Kortash went? I don't know. He was somewhere. He went off to an alleyway to kill his golem. Yeah. He, he killed the golem. Us. He returned. And, and he already uh, finished that. Yes. And you guys were going to head out of the town to the next one, you know, so you could get to the one you want. To uh, yes. see about getting transportation, was what I remember. To meet the good witch of the of Crystalla, the, the good Healy witch of the, of the southeast, south which is where... actually quite uh, southwest technically, but it's, it's really in the east. Uh, <laughs> she's also known as the Cinder or the Fire Starter. Mm -hmm. And something mm -hmm. about healing magics, which is where you keep getting the Healy from, but nobody's actually called her the Healy Witch. She's known as the Cinder or the Fire Starter. Well, of course nobody called her the Healy Witch. My notes were being humorous. <laughs> also, she and she and Takiti would get along very well. We haven't even met her yet. How do you know that? She's a fire starter. Cinder. Oh, okay. She's all about fire. Anyway, moving that's, on. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Well, all right. And, um, let's see. Koratash got a bit nervous about, uh, certain groups of people. And, uh, I let you know that he was gonna be, you know, following a along, but he was gonna scout around as he did. Oh, that's right, I forgot. He had, like, somebody watching him and following him after he, he killed the golem. By magic. Somebody Ooh. was spying on him. I'm betting it was um, Ta and Beck. That's where my money lies. I don't know that they do very much magic. I think I think Ta does a lot more magic than we realize. I think she's snuck around before, if I recall correctly. She's a, she's we'll a monk, that much I know. Anyway, I we'll find out at some point. So, we have awakened from a, a restful sleep for everybody except for Warren, who has this awful pain in his back. <laughs> <coughs> this awful yes. sign-shaped pain. Well, I, uh... I don't think anybody kicked you, so I think you're fine. My cool. golems were standing around the bed to make sure nothing attacked us, so... Okay. I was asleep. Oh, by the way, your golems do sleep. They just fall asleep where they are. Well, that's not. They are not necessarily easy. capable of infinite movement. <laughs> they just deactivate standing up. They just pass out standing. Like cows. We should go golem tipping <laughs> you guys. Well, it depends on the golem. Some are not necessarily as servile. <laughs> you tip the wrong one and you might actually just get eaten. Or smushed or... Oh dear. Whatever golem programming it has. <laughs> so, you guys are waking up. Sun is not really visible, but it's light outside. All right, I rolled a 14 perception check to notice the sign on my back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you noticed it when you went to bed. 
Okay. Oh my god, this is awful. Crick in my bed. No, if I noticed it before bed, then I didn't sleep on it. Well, who, who would, who thinks I'm bo I'm not boring. Burl, do you? I can't get his voice right anymore. <clears throat> Burl, do you think I'm boring? Yeah, boring. Psh, nah. You're Everyone the most knows you're boring. Person I know. I mean, you know, you and that tea of yours, you could you could start enlightening conversations, you know, about your herbal teas. I can, and I can start a lot of herbal teas. It must have been some mean-spirited, cruel street urchin who put this sign on me. I'm Ooh. sure it was. You know, we should we should find who that terrible person is and string them up for as a, as a show to all the other terrible street urchins out there. Do I know who well, it is? Well, string them up means hang them, so let's yes. not do that. We can make a public show of it, and then nobody will put a saint on your back ever again. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'll uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> sure, why not? So, uh, Clay, you asked, uh, do you know who that is? Yeah. What are you referring to? Uh, who put, who put on? on the sign on? Ah, give me a invest. Give me a perception check to see if you noticed. I can't remember what I rolled to put it on originally. It was okay. Let's see if this works. It might not. Thirteen. Okay. Um, you're kind of aware. Uh, give me an insight check, actually. Add your insight. Oh, yeah, no, Dirty. You're, yeah, you're quite aware that Burl is a liar. Wait. And uh, you know that she's teasing Warren. Wait a second. You know it's a I, good I fun. thought you know who it was. I. I. So, why? <laughs> I'm so confused. Why are you lying, Burl? Oh, I'm not lying. What are you talking about? What does he mean you're lying? Oh, what did I ever lie to you? Well, okay, the tea. I might have exaggerated a bit on the tea. It's not exactly the best thing I've ever drunk, but you know. No, I, not that. Know. Not that. The tea's I, I, great. What? The yeah, tea's great. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. The, the tea's I, great. I trust your, your knowledge with herbal teas, and you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take your advice with it. My tea is so good for you. I didn't deny it. I just don't Haven't think it you tastes noticed? very good. Haven't you noticed how well your mucous membranes have functioned since you drank my tea? Yes. Uh, in all honesty, no, I don't think I have. But see, this is what I'm saying. I take your word for it. Fortunately for Burl, he is so distracted by this revelation that some people don't like his tea in spite of its medicinal value that he is... Not worrying about any other <laughs> accusations of lying or the sign, so he, go he goes downstairs like, "Well, you can't add sugar to it. Sugar is bad for your mucous <laughs> membranes." <laughs> so what do you want me to do? Hibiscus you, flowers you, you, you aren't very easy to find. <laughs> well, sometimes wouldn't you kind of need to spend your money on things that are not bathhouses? lavish living if you're gonna make a living out of your tea and your herbal medicines the hibiscus Whoa. flowers might might be you know a good investment for you <laughs> so we we have a discussion a heated discussion about herbal tea and the merits of not sweetening it as we go out <laughs> of the inn i'm taking my golems with me i have commanded them to follow me got real quiet for a second <laughs> yeah so they follow you like large grotesque ducklings <laughs> <laughs> I'm just seeing this tiny little mama duck and like these just enormous deformed ducklings to a normal person they're pretty average but to you they're huge oh goodness <laughs> how about you <laughs> kappa what do you think about my tea? <laughs> Is Kappa still asleep? Which... He might still yeah. be asleep. 
Uh, no, Kappa was muted on accident. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I've had your tea, actually. Okay. Well, I'd be happy we'll to try see about it. This. Maybe sometime we'll try it. Alright, so we have left the inn. I think. Sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I know I'm ready. Uh. Let's see. Can goldfish eat. Can goldfish drink tea? Ah, oh, I wouldn't know. But uh, then again, some piranha are, in, are vegetarian, so. All right, well, so you guys are going to head to the next city and the next and the next and travel to the next. Yep. Until you hit the uh, one you're looking for, which is about, I think, five away. <laughs> yep. Phew. It's a waste. Okay. Well, for today, Warren's tourism side is, is at a low because he's really sore from all those stairs. <laughs> he's like, we're not climbing anymore. Any more watchtowers? You're finding one in every single city. You already know this. Yep. And every time Warren looks at one, I'm like, nope, we're not doing another one. I know. My bones agree with you. Yep. Alright. So as you uh, begin to travel, you know, more of that ash in the sky... It's really dusty. Um, a lot of the people do wear some kind of veil or have large cloaks over their heads, especially <gasps> on a windy day like today. Oh, I have a large cloak that Beck gave me. I'm going to put that on. Excellent. I'm all wearing, uh, already wearing like a cloak thing, although excellent. it's made out of a hide. Okay. Keeps me protected. Uh, Kappa's naked. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got his fishnet. No, yeah, his fishnet. <laughs> Uh, Warren, what are you wearing? How, how, uh, covered is your mouth? I'm sure he has, um, some shirts, some extra things that he can pull out, some rags that he can tie around his upper face like a bandana. Alright, alright. Uh, give me a roll for... Just, uh, give me a roll for survival. Since Warren is the one that's makeshifting this. Alright, that's a 20. Not bad. You do a great job. You, Your time in the wild has taught you well, and you're skilled at making this kind of preparations. I can, I can rip any dress into bandages in a heartbeat. <laughs> that's awesome. Alright. That's how it always... Anyway... So yeah, you guys are all well equipped to deal with this. You don't have too much trouble breathing, even though, you know, it's pretty difficult if you aren't prepared. What was and, the thing uh, that's happening? Why why we're... Oh, we're... it's just the weather. It's a windy day in a, a land covered of glass shards that are so small that they become sand. And uh, yeah, if you guys weren't well clothed and able to breathe in this situation you'd be hurt but kappa's unfortunately thick skinned so he doesn't have to care <laughs> nice <laughs> scales do that i was just thinking he's thick skinned it's got dual purposes yeah here we go you can't insult him and you can't hurt him well he doesn't know what you mean when you insult him also <laughs> warren disconnected but i hope that'll be okay Oh, I think she's back now. Uh, yep. <clears throat> you're back? Yes. Cool. So, uh, as you do, you're also aware of kind of occasional other travelers. They're keeping pretty much a decent distance. You know, they're doing their thing, but it's not as lively in the wind. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty boring. Aside from the wind, of course, and the rustling mm. sand, and glass, and all that stuff. Are we in an open, empty part of town? 
yeah, you're on the, one of the major thoroughfares. It's mm. about as empty as it can possibly be, which means that there's still people traveling it. How many other people are here? There's about 60, about 60 people traveling on the road. Hmm. Okay. At any given time. But we're making good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Warren seems to be very good at getting you guys where you need to go. It's almost like rangers are good at that. Oh, wow. am I leading? <laughs> am I getting the group? You don't actually am have I? to lead, but you give your entire group a bonus to movement like this. All right. So you're able to advise and direct when you need to, to avoid certain problems. <laughs> he advise, and Warren's going around to everybody in the group as we're traveling here. Drink this. It will help in this situation. It'll keep your lungs clear of contaminants. <laughs> <laughs> it will help your mucous membranes guard you up don't, against the You could shark. die if you breathe too much glass in. <laughs> I'll have I, you know I, I didn't... drink plenty of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any hibiscus flowers, but I found this dandelion on the side of the road <laughs> and added it to my tea. <laughs> it tastes like even worse. <laughs> All right. I will admit no, that this, tastes a little This bad. doesn't actually happen. <laughs> no, we're just, we're just on the road. Yeah, so uh, you get to the next city. And uh, no, no major events. I've rolled for it, and uh, it's pretty barren as well. Uh, do you want to do anything or try to do anything in this town before you go to the next? Do the towns look different from one another? They do. Uh, this one has a different symbol, has different uh, little quirks, but it's hard to tell too many of them since there's not as many people around. Burl would like to try. I know the the one town we were in, she was checking out those shops to see if there was anything about like werewolf books or information on like controlling, I guess. And Ta gave her I'm just going to let you know now since you've already searched a bit. Trying to buy incredibly powerful magic things is very difficult and expensive. <laughs> And uh, cures for lycanthropy or things that would give you great power over that are considered very magical. Mm. So not worth trying to explore every town that we pass through. Um, it would take about a week of searching to have a chance that's good of finding that even in this town. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass and I definitely don't have a week for that. Well, because you're not searching for common stuff, you're searching for rare things in higher. Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, that's not a cheaper, you know, <laughs> that takes a lot. Yeah, definitely not a good time to do that right now. Okay. Unless if me... Ta if holds there's... up her little spooky root skull. Yes. And just pretends like it's talking. <laughs> That's her contribution. Oh goodness. Can I can I do some kind of a check to figure out how this route should be taken? And when? And what well, effects um, it might if have? You're trying to learn about medicine, roll me a medicine check to see if you'd know. Alright, let's see. Dice out, cause I don't do that yet. Hold everything else out but the dice. Medicine, medicine. Ooh, yeah, that's a plus zero. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, no, three's not going to tell me anything. Hmm, that's a spooky route. <laughs> so, uh, clearly the only way to use it is blood sacrifice at an altar <laughs> in a special grove on the full moon. Oh, boy. Uh, mm, okay. Uh, I, and by that, I, I mean you make... have no idea. <laughs> it's just a creepy-looking route. Okay. Hey, uh, said... hey, Warren. Oh, I suggest this. we make a tea out of it. Of, of I concur. You want me to... pretends to run away as the root. <laughs> oh, so you goodness. want me to, to have a roll at it? 
Yes, and I'll just kind of pull you aside in private because I don't want the others to really okay. take a yeah. Don't want them to know anything about it. Let's be tune. You, you're you know an herbalist kind of. You've been out in your tea experience. <laughs> you, you know how to uh, properly ingest this thing. Oh, so now uh, you want my tea experience, do you? I never said I didn't want your <laughs> tea experience. All right, so can I use insight by any chance? That would score a lot higher that than my nature. That would tell you understanding of the root's intended purpose, which is to grow and be a plant. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is fair. Uh, what you'd like to know is, you'd probably Medicine. like to know, it's a medicinal use or herbal use. Are you proficient with your herbalism kit? I am, yes. Excellent, and you're proficient with Arcana, right? No. Mm. But, you know, I'm herbalist, I have herb- but I can put herbal perception medicine. towards herbal stuff, so. But do you have medicine? Yes, that cool. one's- Well then you'd, uh, you'd kind of be able to craft a medicine, you wouldn't know what it would do. Oh. Okay. It would be a mystery medicine, a mystery tea. And not actually oh. a tea, it'd be a ground root drink, so... It more like a, a tea. <laughs> kind of a beer. Mm. Alright, so... like an alcoholic thing. I was gonna say, I'm still a minor here. <laughs> well, right, you gotta so... remember, in this time and age, there's a lot of beer, and it's not actually alcoholic by our standards. It just doesn't have that much alcohol. Like butter beer. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's less alcoholic than a modern beer. It's like soda. Hmm. All right, so I tell these things to Burl. I say, so if you want to try this medicine drink, you can try it and see what happens. I will warn your delicate taste buds; it will taste pretty bitter. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll just have to get it down. Um, can I tell by the size, you know, if this is going to be like a one-time thing, or if it's like after we make it up, I could save some in a flask for later? As this will, uh, well, first off, it's not been crafted yet. It's going to take time to make Fair. something valuable. So you'll be able to do it in the next long rest you guys take. And I'll okay. let you do that. Okay. It uh, is going to cost material, though, to get ingredients for medicine. Mm. Hmm, okay. Um, it's wanna... going to be a lot of money to make something very nice with this. But you could try to cheap out and go lower if you'd like. Mm. Uh. No, I've, I've got money. Maybe I can handle the price down. I think while we're in this town, I'll probably start looking for the ingredients for that, because we're on day 11. And come the night of day 13 is when stuff's going to go down, so... <laughs> Alright, so I'll write in my inventory, um, mystery route. Yes, Ta's upset to see it go, because she was having so much fun teasing with it. Oh, I'm sorry, Ta. <laughs> Beck is very happy to see it go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we carry on. Indeed. Or at least, uh, the, as much as we can with her looking around in the markets. Uh, yeah, that's gonna slow you down, um, to look and search a market. That'll take twice as long for you to search a market. Mm. So, uh, uh, you'll have to spend another day traveling. Yeah, I think I'd like to. Okay. So, Warren, you spend a day searching no a market. Now, let me check my rules for buying magical items. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So, there's a lot of weird places to buy magic items, and you know this. If you're really going to try and find something rare, that's going to take some uh, some coin to get some info. Because, you know, magic items, they, uh... uh people are very cagey <laughs> about who's selling them. Right. Okay, what kind of coin are we talking about? Um, that depends on you. The more you spend, the better your result will be. 
Alright, uh, can I throw in a charisma roll to this Oh, uh, you'll well? be doing that as well. This money is just a bonus to your charisma roll. Oh, okay. Let me charisma roll first, then, to find out how much bonus money I want to add to it. Okay. <laughs> uh, when you use charisma, do persuasion, I think? Okay. Yeah, it's persuasion. Since I can find where it's at, there it is. My beautiful, beautiful persuasion of plus six. Makes a 19. Okay. I'll let you know that you gain a bonus one to that roll for every hundred gold you spend. Oh, jeez. Let's go ahead and... You can have ten plus on that total. Ten plus on it, so... You can spend a thousand gold. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> mm. But then you'll roll a twenty-nine. Right. Which gives you much better item options. All right, let's. Can I make it a thousand one hundred? Uh, no. No. No, just... but if you're willing to spend even more time and stay the night in this town and require two days to travel, then you can give your entire thing another plus one to the roll. Every day you spend, you give another plus one. All right, well, we've left uh, Clay and Kappa in the dark for a sec, so I'll probably just turn to them and be like, Hey, guys, uh, I've got some official business I kind of need to take care of. It might take about a couple days in this town. How do you feel about hanging out for a bit? E what kind of business? Noble business. Uh, you know. But, but what? It's uh, it's confidential. I'm sorry, I can't disclose that with you. But why would it, why would it be confidential? Because because like I say, it's noble business. It's it's you know things to do with uh, politics and you know kind of stuff. I can <laughs> I can't tell if that's the DM banging his head against <laughs> something or not. No, no, I'm <laughs> laughing. I was I was punched my knee. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think this sounds suspicious at all. <laughs> there is no suspicion. Ta's amused, and Beck is like, yeah, stuff. <laughs> exactly, I mean... you know, I've, I've got to hang with my peeps over here. I mean, we've got to take care of, you know, important official business stuff. That's the whole reason, you know, why we're going out and doing this. And uh, I've been informed by my, uh, my lockies here that there's some stuff in this town that greatly uh, has advantages Ooh. to that, and so I really would like to spend a couple of days if that's okay with you. I mean... Well, Beck's not very pleased of being called a lackey. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> it's frumps. I was, I was thinking, like, peeps, you know, like my my gang. My, uh... Homies. Not, not lackey. Like, um, homies is the term. Yeah, kind of like homies or apprentices, maybe. They're not your apprentices. <laughs> <laughs> My escort. You, you may be a little confused as to the meaning of the word apprentice. My, I, 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 it's... <laughs> true, true. I, I mean, was thinking of something else. They um, are your family, it's... right? They're they're kind of like my family, my adopted <laughs> family. <laughs> My 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 homeboy is here. <laughs> well, that's close enough, I suppose. <laughs> Excuse me, I I need to be off on noble business. It's political, and uh, I just I need to go off with my homeboys. <laughs> my home dog slice cake. <laughs> I need to be with my home slices for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> because that's so noble. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> mm, yes. If you say it like that, then okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Well, all right. But so you're gonna spend the day here in this town, and everyone's fine with that. Uh, at, at least I think we were already gonna spend the one day. You said two this, days max. Is this for the um? Is this actually for the, uh, what was it, werewolf thing? Or is it yeah. something? Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Because I'm kind of... I want to see how much I believe her. Oh, uh, if you want to do, you can roll insight. Would that be a competition against my charisma? Um, well, you didn't seem to intend to want to roll, but you can roll a deception check. Okay. Yeah, 17. Uh, 14. <laughs> uh, Clay, that's a victory by three points, so you know something's <laughs> up, but you don't know what. Okay. You, you know she's doing something. You know it's not hostile to you. Okay. Hmm. You know. All right, hmm. is that... I'm not going to do anything about it. Nonsense. Okay. Should I should I roll as well? If you want to. For insight? If you want to. To, to find out how suspicious the party is. Uh, that's a 16. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're suspicious. You know what, <laughs> you know what Clay knows. Okay. Yeah. Well... What I will, what I do plan to do, just kind of okay. out of character, is that I'm going to see if I can find out what's up without oh, okay. her knowing. Excellent. <laughs> Detective work. Oh, that's too bad Koratash isn't here. I know. <laughs> He'd love this. This, is, this would be a lot of fun for him. Oh gosh, that's why I wanted him to be here. Oh. I know, right? Oh well. So, Burl, I Wait. guess we'll go to you shopping. Okay. So, we're doing the two days spent and a thousand gold? Yep. So I... you spent two days and a thousand P gold. P.S. Uh, you guys can just tell him about it later and he can join the search. Okay. So you go through markets that are just crazy markets. You don't know what's up. You're talking to lots of people. You're trying to make contacts. You're using your noble lineage. Um, and you manage to get a couple hints of items that might be of use for medicine like this. Now let me roll for them because chaos must reign. <laughs> <I'm D4. laughs> That's not bad, actually, 29. Ooh, awesome. You know a lot of rare... You found a lot of rare stuff. Your money was well spent for once. <laughs> uh, for once. <laughs> well, normally when this happens, it can be like you find one rare item. 39... Let me just write this down. This is some crazy shenanigans. Okay. So, um, you are... You find a pair of... <laughs> of rare magic items that you think people are like, Oh, this is rare, powerful stuff. Maybe it'll help. Um, you find a pair of incredibly strong-looking gauntlets. They're mm. quite large, and they're magic. You also find a pair of bracers that seem to assist with, uh, you know, aim, accuracy. They seem to guide the hand. Interesting. Uh, you're also aware of a very special helmet that when you think to it it resonates within the helmet and if you were to wear it you'd be able to think to other people wow and, uh, yeah you also find a special cloak ooh that's pretty good that seems to just blend in and uh you know you uh finally get no you notice it's there <laughs> It's been forgotten in a shop. Hmm. Almost like people haven't noticed they have it in there. <clears throat> I've already got the one ring. How does that compare to this cloak? 
Well, it depends. This cloak is actually not too uncommon. At least it's not uncommon if you can find one. Um, while you wear this, you have perception check. Uh, well, okay, so when you wear the cloak, you have advantage on stealth. And people have disadvantage to perceive you intentionally. As the cloak color seems to blend in with whatever's behind it. It's actually surprisingly heavy. So when you pull the cloak over, up or down, to putting it on and like really hiding takes a full action. Now, does she have all of these or are these just things that she has found? There are things you've found. You can purchase them and you'll have to haggle a price. Right. Now the gauntlet and the bracers. Can I tell what those do? Um, you can always make a roll, and for this one, roll history. I think you said the, the bracers had something to do with aiming, so it's the gauntlet that I'm looking at. Yeah. History? Mm-hmm. That's gonna be a 19. Not bad. All right. These gauntlets are uh, of a very specific make. They have these lion's heads in gold engraved onto their sides. And you can tell this is actually a kind of product made in Crystalla itself. These are gauntlets of ogre power. And what they do is when you wear them, you have a 19 strength score. Dang! And they have no effect if you have strength higher than 19, but they are kind of like the golden gauntlets in The Legend of Zelda. Holy crud! And that's the only like difference a... is they are noticeable, and so, you know, they are also very goldy, so they might attract unwanted attention if they're visible. You right. might want to hide them. Yeah. But Oof. they are very powerful. No kidding, and it's a base strength score, 19. Yes, base strength. Ooh, I'm definitely salivating over those ones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, gosh, I've been going to finesse for everything. Yeah. Are the rest of us, like, close by? Are we close enough. Yeah. You hanging can talk. around? She's had two days to... She's had a whole day to search this. I, I'm assuming <laughs> she's come back to talk to you as well. Before buying anything, well, or at least or Warren with. is want Warren is eventually cross paths with her during the day, which is salivating over Burl. There's these nice. really, really pretty gauntlets in there, and they make your strength. Yeah. So uh, just to make this easier on you guys, there are gauntlets of ogre strength. There are bracers of archery. There's a cloak of elven kind. And uh, for 84, it was... Um... Magic Helm? Yeah, it was a Helm of Telepathy. But unfortunately, none of it seems to be werewolf-related. Hey. I thought we were looking for ingredients for the medicine. Oh, you were. You were looking for rare magic ingredients and magic items that might be useful for making it. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately... That's not easy to do. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, oof, jeez. Mm. But if someone was willing to help you, and you were willing to spend an additional amount of money for any bonuses, somebody else could try as well. <gasps> Big and tall. You guys are really great with this kind of stuff. Yeah, but we're not authorized to spend money. <laughs> not, not even if it's my money. It's not actually, it's the house's money, and uh, your sister's technically in charge. So we can only do what she's let us do. But, you know, like, my money from my purse that I've got from the... Oh, oh, yes, yeah, so we, we can do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you it's can like, help yes, me... yes, money. <laughs> Please okay. give money. I want to buy things. Uh, things for me, preferably. <laughs> okay. How much? How much additional are they going to do for this? Well, now he understands that it's a chore. 
<laughs> please don't go spending my hard-earned earn murder money on, on playthings for yourself. Uh, okay. Hmm. So, about... Uh, Buy them ice cream afterward. Maybe. It just depends on how much I'm going to have after this whole adventure. <clears throat> Look, if you were to buy them an aristocratic meal, that's ten gold. So, uh, <laughs> you can probably afford to do that, and I'm not even going to charge you. <laughs> okay. Um, so, how much How much do I need to invest for them to try and find herbal medicine stuff? For every bonus you want, the rules are the same. They can have not... a plus ten, and that's a thousand gold. And it's a hundred each plus one. And they get another plus one for the day. And uh, I will roll their die if you want. Yeah, roll their die. Let me see what I'm up against. Because I don't want to spend another thousand gold. I'm going to be buying okay. some of these fancy items. The Kanta are pretty good. They're also lucky. <laughs> ah, hey, what do you know? Interesting. So they've rolled well. I'm not going to tell you the exact numbers because, well, you're not there yet. <laughs> How about I do a hundred gold and I split fifty between the two of them? Uh, sorry, what? If I invest a hundred gold, that's fifty between the two of them. A uh, hundred gold, fifty between the two. A hundred total, and I give each of them fifty. Well, that's not going to give e either of them a bonus. Oh. Okay. Uh. They're just going to have their natural plus one. And uh, despite all odds, it is going to be very difficult to guarantee anything. That's good market music. <laughs> I'll let you know now, if you spend well for Ta, she will find you something valuable. How well are we talking? I'm down to 5,000 gold and I know these magic items are going to be pricey and I have to pick which ones I want. Okay. Well, you can just tell us about the magical or... items and we can buy our own magical items. This is yeah. true. This is you true. I, mean, I, don't, I don't need all four of them, so it would be like, Hey, everybody, look what I found. What do you want? I'm, okay. I'm kind of... I in a few things myself. Well, Kylie, do remember that at this level you're probably going to get lots more gold soon anyway. Mm. But yeah, it's fair. I'll buy, my, I'll, I'll buy my own um, gauntlets of aiming. The bracers. Uh, bracers of archery. Gotcha. Let I'll me tell you later. exactly what they do so you can write it down. Okay. Okay, bracer, 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 Uh, archery, there are... While you wear them, you get proficiency with bows, if you didn't even have it. And you also get a plus two bonus to damage rolls with them. Nice. So yeah. Plus two to all bow use. Bow damage. Sounds good. All right. And those, uh, they're uncommon, so they're actually quite affordable. Hmm, okay. Let me just, uh, roll a die. Yeah, they're only about 300 gold for the bracers. Done and done. Okay. <clears throat> The gauntlets yeah. of Ogre Power are similarly priced, so they're not going to be more than 500 gold. Are you just at the shops? Mm-hmm. I guess I'm at the shops, too. Yeah. I suppose everyone got dragged along, because otherwise <laughs> it would be a boring wait. Yeah. What sort of things are here? Uh, you said this was the magic shop? Yeah, gauntlets of Ogre Power... Uh, the bracers that Warren just bought. Mm. A cloak that blended in with the wall. And uh, Burl noticed barely. Mm. And a helm that you can communicate psychically with. And from. So a helm of telepathy. Mm. 
It's got a lion on the helmet. Interesting. Well, what? And all your telepathic communication is done in the voice of Aslan. <laughs> the beautiful, smooth voice of Aslan. Very I was just thinking, what if it came in Artie's voice? <laughs> oh no. Can you look, imagine? it's not a cursed item, okay? <laughs> you can never take it off. Binding enchantment on it from Minecraft. Oh, no. <laughs> it's an Artie's voice. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Oh gosh. Well, fortunately, it is not that. So somebody in our party will want it. Whoever wants to buy it. Uh, what was it? Helm of telepathy. And then there's a cloak of elven kind. Hmm. And then there's the uh, gauntlets of ogre power. These are things that people have not gone. But what no. they have gone. No, it's what they haven't bought. The bracers what? are the only thing that's been bought. What are the yep. gauntlets? Oh, 19 strength when you wear them. Oh, wow. Yep. Quite powerful. Yeah. So long as you can wear them. I don't think I want those. <laughs> hey, Kappa! You want to uh, increase your strength score? You're a monk, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I am a monk. Um, my strength score? I, I don't know what you're talking about. No, okay. I'm just of course, of course, I'd love to increase my strength score. How much are they? Again, DM. Five hundred gold. I have zero, <clears throat> so. <laughs> Because that's kind of my thing is that I don't have worldly possessions. You don't you don't can... have any coins in like your literally scales. Zero. Literally like zero and I don't there? have any clothing either, so <laughs> Do you need a loan? Uh I can no, just give that you wouldn't, some money. that would kind of defeat the purpose. Maybe I could trade in kind, like maybe there's a is there any sort of <clears throat> like um, favor the person needs that's oh, wait. I do, I do have those, uh, those plates. The person selling is like, I don't know what I can do with, uh, a fish. <laughs> uh, That's I resent that. That is racist. And, <laughs> uh, now I'm offended. I'm not buying anything. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. I'll just, I'll, I'll butt in between the two of them and I'll pull out the seven gold and the 13 copper strange plates that we pulled from the bottom of the clock tower. Ooh, artifacts, huh? Yeah. All right. Did you know how much those were worth, by the way? You did not specify. You All right, let's roll. And there were 13? 13 copper and 7 gold. Okay, okay. Well, it's your lucky day. That is exactly a... Well, okay, it's not exactly. But the shop keeps like, oh, these are pretty rare. Yeah, down uh, down east, these might go well. I could sell these. Okay. Would you uh, be willing to trade those for the uh, magic gauntlets for my fish friend here? Hmm. Yeah. I, I could do that. This is quite a good bargain for the gauntlets alone. All right. These are probably hundreds of years old. So they, uh, they will give you the gauntlets, and it, they also grant about 500 gold. So they might give to the fishman, or they give to you, intending yes. to give to the fishman. Uh, fishman, do you want an additional five hundred gold? Uh, I do. I want an additional like five hundred on top of that. Yeah, no. on top of that. So no. Gauntlets and five hundred. Yeah, you're, so you're yeah. You're the good gauntlets with... are It'll just weigh me down. Yeah, I, I, I'm still gonna try and stay away from my material possessions as much as I can. Okay. okay. But Sounds you do good. have the gauntlets now, and they do give you 19 strength when you wear uh, them. Uh, that's amazing. So they it might actually... Um, what did, what yeah, did you trade? Do. The uh, plates, plates that we found at the bottom of the clock tower. <clears throat> okay. So you said nice. in practical terms, so it's it moves my strength to 19, you said? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Sweet. So cool. maybe they don't wear you down after all? Weigh you down? <laughs> the contrary, you feel quite strong while wearing them. 
as the plates seem to bend and shrink and fit you perfectly, even though Sweet. you're definitely a strange fish man. <laughs> I am a strange fish man. In a lot of ways, they almost fan out slightly like fins. Mm. Nice. Cool. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So now the cloak and the helmet are left, and uh, uh, we can't we can't forget Koratash. Yeah. What would he I want? I can buy something. You... I can buy whatever's left over. I mean, personally, I think I'm gonna pick up the cloak for myself. And, the question is, and then what's that uh, other thing? The helm of telepathy. Um. Oh. Woody? Yeah. So the shopkeeper says, I don't even realize I have this, but uh, I'll take a, uh, you know what, special deal. You've bought so many things from me. I'll sell it for only 300 gold. Okay. I'll All take right. that. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. I can't believe it's randomly generated and you're a rogue and you can <laughs> totally use that. I've got between that and the ring, I'm just going to be, like, undetectable when I decide to stealth. Yeah, basically. Like, it's going to be really hard. Be a lot of fun. We'll see. Hopefully. Okay, and then, I don't know, I mean, uh, Clay, do you, do you feel like you'd use the helm or maybe Kordatash? Hmm. I don't want the helm. Yeah, nobody mind has to. Mind control play. is not mind control. Uh, mind <laughs> telepathy and that sort of stuff. That's not for me. Oratash. I don't know. Hey, He's an odd. Kid. The helm of telepathy is actually useful because it does work with you know any living thing. Yeah. It does work with animals. And, if a plant is sentient, it does work with them as well. I mean, it's valuable enough. I'm interested. If he doesn't want it, we can sell it somewhere else for a much higher price. I can price. just see Ward having conversations with the dandelions about tea. <laughs> <laughs> I would... I mean, that's... I don't think a dandelion could give me conversations about tea. And I can actually... I think I can speak to animals and plants as a spell option, so not <clears throat> technically. But I can buy it. I will go ahead and buy it, and we'll see if and Koratash okay. feels like having it. A Helm of Telepathy is uh, only 300 gold. Done Only done. 300. Well, compared to some of the other things yeah. they sell, that's a good <laughs> bargain. Yeah. After all, this is not the kind of item that general people can make. These are uncommon. Some people will never see them in their lifetimes. Very cool. All right. All right. And then with all that done, I'm going to go ahead and just put 300 gold to Ta. Okay. And she gets a plus three. Call it good. Okay. All right. So uh, Ta finds you something very good because, I didn't tell you this, she nat 20 <laughs> um, let me just let me see what Ta can get I didn't want to undermine you guys because that's not the point <laughs> alright let me read the rules and see what Ta can find alright shoot this would be really really good if I did that but I'm not going to do it all the way Table G. Where on earth is my D4? Okay, three. And, uh... 93, 45, 80. <laughs> so, Tom manages to find you. Um, yeah, 93. A spell guard shield that they're selling. A staff of striking. 
and uh, an, an, <laughs> an iron stone of insight. Which might actually be useful for you. How on earth? Okay, hold on. <laughs> so we've got Spellguard's shield, Staff of Striking, and then a Stone of Insight? Yeah, an Iron Stone of Insight. Ironically, these are useful. All right. Um, what do I'm, each of them do? I'm very interested in the staff of striking. Well, the staff of striking strikes. I know that's <laughs> silly, but that is what it do. Let me give you the exact stats in one moment. Okay, staff of. Okay, here we go. A Staff of Striking is very rare. Uh, it can be used as a magic quarter staff. You get a plus three to attack and damage with it. It has ten charges. When you hit a melee attack, you can spend up to three charges. And for each charge you do, they take an extra 1d6 force damage. It regains 1d6 plus four charges at dawn. And if you expend the last charge, you roll a d20... If you roll a one, it loses its magic. Hmm. That's right. a very rare item that is uh, going to cost. <sighs> Let me check the chart. Oh yeah, that's uh, that, that's pricey. It's going to cost a thousand or, or a little more because <laughs> staffs of striking are unheard of by most people. Now, a Spellguard shield, that's really powerful as well. Spellguard shields are pretty useful. When you hold it, you have an advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. And spells have disadvantage against you. That's also going to be a thousand or more if you try to get the Spellguard Shield. Now let's go to the Iron Stone, because that's what you're looking for. Okay. Okay, GH. Ugh, there's so many things to do. Iron Stones are named after, <laughs> well, a forgotten god. Or at least some foreign entity. They all there's a whole bunch of types. Um, normally, their use is you toss them in the air, and they orbit you and grant you a bonus to whatever stat. And they can also be used to do other things to benefit you. But the one of insight would grant you a plus two to wisdom and shine some incandescent blue. However, if ground up, could probably be very useful for a potion. Hmm. How much is that stone? That stone is definitely a thousand or more. I'll have to roll for it, but it's not going to be higher than 5,000 at most. And since it's a consumable, it's going to be half price. Okay. So, if you want, I can make a roll. Yes. Four thousand five hundred gold. Jeez. Is it half price? So that'd be like two twenty-five. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, Clay. Hey, yeah. Uh... Do you remember how I gave you that fancy stuff and I said you owe me for it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Have you thought of a, a thing you want? I, I did. There's a, there's a fancy stone over there that I could uh, really use for my, my yeah. uh, you know, the, the thing that I need to take care of. 
Very oh, yeah. important confidential business. Uh, how much is it? Uh, about two to twenty-five. Two thousand two hundred fifty. Yeah, Quite a so lot. that's that's what I meant. Two, two two fifty. Oh, oh. Let's see. I'd like to offer up my services once again. Well, I can give amazing back rubs. <laughs> <laughs> You're just over there massaging the shopkeeper. You see, Ooh. my the original charms. price of two fifty sounds really good because that's exactly what I have. Oh my! Two two fifty is a little out of my price range, so mm. I don't know if I could help you out immediately. Hmm. Mm. Is is it? Can I try to uh, haggle the price down with the shopkeeper? You can. Uh, however, it would be very difficult. You won't be able to get it under a thousand. Maybe under a thousand. Yeah, I don't think we can get it down to two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> two fifty is not an option. The shopkeeper was not born yesterday. <laughs> But more importantly, he wouldn't even sell that to his family for under a thousand. It's that rare. How much yeah. do you want it? Uh, a lot. Like, are you willing to become enemies with this? Match, no. Let's, let's not well, I can be do enemies that. with the shopkeeper. No, no, we don't need to do that. We, uh, we definitely don't need to do that. Um... Let's see, how much money does Beck have? On his person, Beck has 750. That is his entire life savings. Oh, I don't want to take his entire life savings away from well, him. Well, I mean, he offered it, so. <laughs> well, Clay, uh, if you want to throw in your 250. I'll throw and in my 250. I'll... Beck, I don't want to run you dry, but I'll take 500 if you if you really want to help out. Alright. And then I'll contribute the last 1500. Okay. So you can buy it. Mark that off your sheets. And uh, you have the Iron Stone. And okay. uh, Warren can definitely use this to make some kind of medicine. Right, he won't Warren. know exactly what it will do, unless he Warren. manages to pass a check. I uh, I entrust you with a stone. Oh, and okay. We, in the route, we're gonna need that come tonight, cause I, I well, are we on the? Th I, we're spending two days to do this, so we would technically be on the thirteenth day by the time we're all done shopping. Before that, uh, and it'll, it'll take some time to make it, if I recall. A few days. That's uh, that's the real kicker. But you do have time. You know, the shopping doesn't take action all the time, and Warren has time to make a potion. And we have, yeah, and we have, yeah, what he said. All right, Warren, uh, give me a give me a roll. Add your medicine and your. Uh, Proficiency again, because you're herbalism. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Alright, so it was medicine, my proficiency, and what else? Uh, and you can add your proficiency again, because you're proficient with herbalism. Okay, so that's a 19. That's not too bad. Uh, does it's anyone want to help you. Warren? Does anybody want to come and advise me? Can um, you seem wise in strange ways? Do we, do we really want to let Clay in on this? Well, I mean... Oh. I mean, Clay seems really... <clears throat> Clay seems really chill. I think he would do fine. Knowing, I mean, he seems... He doesn't seem to be worried about the things people are normally worried about. Where are about. you right now? Are you just, like, talking in front of me? Whispering in front of me? <laughs> <laughs> we, 
we, we've stepped aside. We're 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 talking like off to the side fervently and glancing over at you. <laughs> well, I will I will try to listen in. All right, you can roll a. <laughs> okay. uh, you can roll perception, Clay, to listen in. Sixteen. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, you are. Uh, you're able to listen to what they're saying pretty well, and you get glimpses of them talking about you. And uh, you're aware that they're considering bringing you in on whatever Burl is cagey about. Hmm. I won't do anything yeah. about it, though. Yep. He doesn't seem to get upset by things normal people are upset about. So maybe he doesn't care about werewolves. I don't use that word that I don't hear, Warden. DM, DM didn't say that he caught the part about werewolves. He just said something. This is he can hear what we're werewolf. saying. You, he did or did not? Did not. Okay. I did I not. I still have to use not. like a safe I did word. not hit her. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I did not. Okay. okay. Um. All right. So I say, like, I'm sure he doesn't really care about the. You know what's <laughs> about, about, your... the, about the auto US's, <laughs> but yeah. Um, what about Beck and Tor? Do any of them have medicinal experiences? Uh, they're already helping as much as they know how. Which is I to don't... say, Beck is doing a great job and Taz smiling and being there. <laughs> I mean, I can try and help. I don't have anything on medicine, but... Um, just give a roll of a d4. A d4? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna find... Where my dice bag went, because it disappeared on me. There it is. Do, do, do. Ah, it's a four. Not bad, not bad. All right. So you can add that to the total roll. Actually, not you, uh, Kylie. I was gonna. Well, yeah, Kylie. You can add D four. Uh, so Wait, that's... What am I adding this to? To Warren's. Warren, what did you roll? Where's Warren? Warren rolled a 19. That's what he did. Uh, so that's 23. Yeah, I think we should be I'll okay. tell you right now, this potion will not be as strong as it could be. Mm. So everyone can help if they wish. If their character can find a way in. Well, I'm assuming that I'm the one who's aware that this potion isn't going to be as good as it could be. Yes. So or I will... you can talk and convince people if you want. Well, and I can also just tell Bora, like, maybe we should hold off for a bit if she's really upset about telling... Uh, telling people, but Kappa also seems to be a little out of it when it comes to normal problems, like being worried about the same things as everybody else. Mm, he's literally so, a fish like, man, he's probably okay. He's literally a fish out of water. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I'm worried about... <clears throat> the only thing that I'm worried about is Koratash. He and he's seems... not here. Mm -hmm. He's been in and but... out, but he hasn't been paying much attention. He's been avoiding some notable figures. But I'll bring Ford up a gets... picture of the figures he's avoiding, though. Oh. Um, oh, oh. They're not too noticeable. I mean, the people here are well-dressed anyway. But, uh... But, right. yeah. My you did bring up the picture is... or you didn't? Cause I'm... Oh, wait, there they go. Oh, they look like the... Uh... Ring race. What's it called from Oblivion? Oh. Because <laughs> they look like ring rays that are not black in armor, so. 
look like a couple of things from Oblivion, but eh, yeah, anyway. that's, a, that's something I'd be dodgy about, for sure. Anyway, my only concern is word getting back to Koratash about this. They, Kappa and Clay don't seem worried about the same things other people are worried about, but they also don't seem like they can keep a secret. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm so most we worried can, about. We can hold off on uh, finishing this potion. I don't think we can, Warden. That's, that's a problem. We, we don't have any time. I think between you, Beckentor, my golems, and this potion, we can take our chances. Okay. Would you like anybody else to aid you, though? Because uh, this will define what happens with the potion. So I'm just letting you know that can I use, will be used. Can I use an inspiration to re-roll? Um, you got a 19. I don't know that you want to re-roll that. You can roll again. No, yeah, I got a 19 with all those again. bonuses. I only rolled an uh, 8. Gotcha. Yeah. Alright, so minus an inspiration... And let me try the roll again. Much better. So it was medicine, proficiency, and then proficiency again. Yep. Alright, so it's 27 this time. Not bad, not bad. That's, the That's base. 31. That'll do it. Uh, this, It's going to be very well made. It still could be better, but not much. I'll take it. Alright. Okay. It's an expensive potion, so, you know. Bear right. that in mind. It's high quality. Nice. Thank you, Warren. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I'll never insult your tea again. <laughs> I mean, tea requires criticism sometimes in order <laughs> so, to improve. <laughs> Warren, you have brewed a kind of a weird mix. It's a very soft earthy brown looking mixture but every now and then there's these little greenish looking almost trails you know like when uh, there's cream or anything else in a drink and it sort of makes the uh, kind of froth and okay. these form little almost skulls I'm and uh, it seems to hum this. slightly there's a soft singing <laughs> the skulls that sing <laughs> All right. So the potion is finished. Now, before we leave the market, um, can I spend a thousand gold on that beaten staff? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. Striking staff. Be more clear. Uh, it may be more than a thousand. Let me roll. All right. No, it's a thousand. <laughs> All right. Highly on discount. <laughs> Highly on discount. <laughs> Somebody didn't realize what it was and sold it for about half price. Oh, okay, nice. I now have a staff of striking. All right. For me, that concludes my business at the market. Yeah. Anybody else want to do market business? Uh, no. Okay. All right. So here we go. You have a strange potion that sings, and, uh, you're gonna spend the night, probably. You don't have too much more time. I assume it's been a few days. Yeah, I was gonna say, what day specifically would we be on after all these adventures? Let's see, it's day 13, and it's gonna be night 14. I thought so we before were... before the full moon. The full moon usually... Yeah, so if we're on day 13, then the night of 13 going into 14, right? Mm-hmm. 14 is the full moon. Okay. Okay. So it's it's day right now, it's not night yet. It's turning to night. Okay. You'll stay the night, it's... and then you have tomorrow, and it's going to begin. It, it's still day unless Kappa and Clay don't want to begins at midnight, if I seem to recall correctly, from the last time. Well, that was also in a dream world. 
true. But given all of the years that have gone by since... It doesn't really begin you... at midnight. It begins when the moon rises. And okay. it ends when the moon falls. Okay, interesting. All right. Well, how about how long would it take for her to uh, get out of the town and be a safe distance off? Well, since there are a lot of towns and there are, you know, all sorts of hamlets and bureaus, I don't think you're able to get too far away from humans. <laughs> uh, you'll probably be within range of somebody. So the real question will be, how well do you cope with it? Where do you go? And what do you do? Well, I'll definitely and, be taking uh, the, uh, the ring and the cloak with me. What will the hunt <laughs> want this time? Aye, that's the other thing. <laughs> well, I think I'd want to probably get at least away from the big town of Crystalla and uh, everybody else who's in here. <laughs> well, Crystalla is 13 big towns, but you want to get away from the center of the city we're in right now. Yeah. Yeah. Which is about town number six, I think. No, Town 7, yeah. It's Town 7. <laughs> the seventh town on the bow of Crystalla. Alright, I assume I, Beck, and Ta are coming with you? Yeah, and I'll take the golems with me too. Did you already drink the potion? Mmm, I think... Not yet, I want to get out first. Okay. Um, I guess the question is if... Because I hate to just start training the whole thing um, if Kappa and Clay had anything that they were going to be doing up to this point uh, no really yeah I don't think there's a ton um, I mean maybe just wandering around the town but I am a fish out of water so <laughs> um, I'm kind of just along for the ride and looking for something that's like like those powerful artifacts that could save my people. That's my motivation. Right. Pretty simple. So. And you got these fancy new bracers that you got to try out. I do. Uh, gauntlets of strength that I will try out for sure. But, uh, you know, there's not like... I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, I think... Uh, if well, nothing no, else let, him, is... let him roll. Let him see if he... I, I think that's how this works. What are we doing? Um, doesn't... Don't you want to roll to see if you find any artifacts that save your people? Um, I mean, we've already... We've already been to the, the shopping place here. I mean, like, there's not... I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe look for some water to sleep in tonight. <laughs> that might be a good idea. We'll find a bathtub. Yeah. Is that a... What kind of check would that be? <laughs> bathtub it, check? Where's What's the bath... What, what would it be? A bathtub check. <laughs> Insight? Uh, survival. <laughs> survival. For you, for you, it is a religion check. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, okay, I rolled a 17, so any of the above are over 20, so. Oh, okay. So, uh. Where's yeah. my. I, I'm practicing my religious survival and trying to find a bathroom. <laughs> Just survival. <laughs> what a. What a trick. He has to find the holy tub of healing waters. Alright, let me see. Please uh, you do a find fountain. a fountain. It's very well hidden. Uh, if you hadn't rolled over 20, you wouldn't have found it. And uh, it's very calm. It's very peaceful. Um, there are also, in one of these, there is a mer person. A uh, marrow, if you will. Hmm. Didn't you have like a jar that had a mer person design on it? I did. Yeah. Um,. I guess I'll go up and ask this mer person if they know what this this jar is. Okay. They don't know exactly, but they are very pleased. 
this is a relic of their people. And uh, they admire your good taste and your understanding that clearly they are knowledgeable about their people's stuff because let them tell you. <laughs> and this, the Kappa spends the entire night listening to the tales of the mer person while in the bathtub. If you want, uh, you can ask them questions. What would you like to know? Um, I mean, so they don't really know anything else about this urn or this. this they know it is a funeral urn, but there aren't any. It's not normal. There's some arcane markings they cannot read. Hmm. They don't understand. But so they know nobody was buried in it. So okay. it's a funeral urn with some kind of runes. All right, so ashes aren't going to just start spilling out randomly, right? Like we're, not, <laughs> Likely. we're not dealing with you that. Somebody's great-great-grandmother you spill in the tub. <laughs> that would be really embarrassing. That would be so bad. That would be quite the faux pas. But, uh, okay, that's good to know. Um, no, I mean, it's kind of weird that there's a mer person here. Maybe I'll ask them about their background. Oh, well, they were born and raised at the reef. How far is the reef? Oh, 10 or so miles. On the edge of the city, to the east. So the like lowest four east? cities actually are on the coast. Oh, There's a mighty right. reef that's actually impossible to sail through. And that is where most oh. of these marrow live and have right. part of the city on. So we're actually pretty close to the coast. Indeed. But uh, it's such an inlet that there's huge lightning storms. And uh, hmm. it is quite the unusual place. It's sort of like a weird lake mermaid place. Hmm. Okay. You also know their name. This is... This uh, marrow is... Is female, because I rolled a die. <laughs> and their name... Is, a uh, Cotone. Cotone? Cotone. K-O-T-O-N-E. And they're a contact that you know. Oh, okay. A date. <laughs> you can now contact this person for details and information and maybe um, mm. for assistance if you ever, you know, message them or whatever. So yeah, you uh, have a friendly ally. Whoever just whispered that nice I should ask them out on a dinner. date. Uh, that's That's racist. I want you to know. <laughs> And I'll be the first to say it. So, how is asking on a mer person racist? Because it's just assuming that we're compatible because we're both fish people. Well, see, but how do you know <laughs> if you don't ask her out first? That's how you you get to know if you're compatible with the person as you go on dates with them. You do yeah. remember, you do worship the same god. <laughs> oh, there we go. See, you that's already have common in, ground. That's made in heaven right there, yeah. I'm just saying what you know. I'm not actually trying to say what you should do. Hmm. 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 Now we'll 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 just keep it keep things casual right now. You, you know, we just met. You know, we're we'll let things develop. <laughs> let things go, let things go naturally here. Um. Okay, uh, is there anything that's... Okay, I mean, I guess I guess that makes sense why this person would be here. That 10 miles isn't too far away. and Not at um... all, especially since mer people don't actually need to be in the water to breathe. That, that's an excellent evolutionary development that they... I wish they would have passed on to my people, because, uh, you know, this whole water thing is kind of frustrating. Indeed. Okay, well, um... A mer person still dies if they're out of water for ten days. But, hmm. you know, it's ten days, not one. <laughs> yeah, it's ten days, not four hours. Well, sounds good. I will, um... 
I'll probably call it there. I don't really have a whole lot more to investigate now. So um, this would be mostly a chill day for Kappa. Um, obviously, everything that he's experiencing is all new to him anyway. So it's going to need some time to process. Understandable. And uh, that ends as an amicable acquaintanceship. Good. We'll take it. Yep. All right. So that's Kappa. Anybody else have anything to do before we uh, essentially call it? Um, I don't think I do. Okay. We're good. The shopping, fact, the shopping episode concludes. What I do <laughs> want to know is more about this staff that I've gotten. Oh, oh the uh, withering hand? staff. Would you like to know what it does? Yes. Well, since you have had it nearby as you rested, it has attuned to you. And the hand does occasionally move to make it more convenient for your use, as if uh, it knows what you want it to do. So the staff has three charges, and it regains 1d3 charges every day at dawn. You can spend a charge when you hit with it to deal an extra 2d10 necrotic damage, and the target has to succeed on a dc15 con save, or they get disadvantage on ability and saving throws for strength or con for an hour. What is it that they do if they fail on a save? Oh, they get disadvantage for strength and constitution saves and throws for an hour. So they they wither. On what save? Strength and con. Constitution. Yeah. And what save? I would assume constitution, right? Yes, both strength Yep, and, and constitution. Still. And it's on a con save though, right? Or uh it's a constitution save, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's otherwise like a quarter staff? So yes, like... but it is counted as magic. Yeah. So uh if you hit a demon with it, it does normal damage. Mm -hmm. Instead of being halved. Okay. It's rare. It's not a very rare staff, but it is rare. Nice. I have saved the information. I have attuned Excellent. it with my mind. Indeed. The hand would give you a thumbs up. <laughs> but it lacks that capacity. Mouth. It lacks a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it does not. It just doesn't understand that a thumbs up means that. However... <laughs> If you want to pick it up, it will use its hand to right itself and stand up straight. Mm. Or it'll crawl towards you if it's <laughs> left under the bed so that it's more visible and acquirable for you. <laughs> it doesn't actually do anything other than that, but it will move towards you. And it will uh, make itself like, hey, if you need me, I'm easily acquired. <laughs> so I can throw it at people and then it comes back slowly <laughs> it's very slow yes but it, it crawls its way back kind of like the, the hands from the newest Zelda yeah <laughs> kind of like that well alright is that good for everybody was that an okay session yeah. I think so it was, uh not quite as adventurous, but I think we got a lot of good stuff out of it for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Well, um, um you decided we to kept shop. wanting to go shopping some more. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you would you would find things, and then we would all be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're like, well, we need to find more things because the potion isn't ready. And then more things came out, and we we're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> hold on, we need to discuss about this. Lots of gold was spent today. Yeah, I Indeed. think it sets up for the next uh, the next session better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good setup. Yeah, 
and Kyle ended up missing out on very little, so it works out really well. Yeah. True. Yeah. Just a lot of information that he could pry his ears into, be like, what are they talking about over there? <laughs> well, for your sake, you should be grateful that he didn't. I, I that. am grateful that That's... he doesn't know. <laughs> Has the full moon happened yet? Not yet, no, it will be. Next day. Next session. Hmm. I have That'll be fun. Crystalla pictures of places in Crystalla and views of it from certain angles that I am placing in chat. <laughs> you know, just stuff I found that kind of fits. What I miss? Oh, oh we finished. And I'm just posting chat. images that Crystalla might look like. Wait, I yeah. have to. I, I always have to find my way back <laughs> to to the place where uh, things are being posted. Mm. And it's ooh, <laughs> I I know that place. That's from Lord of the Rings. What? Dean would never. How dare you accuse? Don't you know he painstakingly stayed oh, up in this nice draw all of it? But you know, <laughs> let's see what else was there. No, oh, I don't have a mer person. Darn. Oh well, <laughs> use your imagination, I suppose. You can just use one of the images from onward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <sighs> the one where she's chilling out in the pool in the front yard. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I'm going to hang up. All, all that matters for Warren is that he had a happy ending to the sign incident. <laughs> the sign incident? <laughs> the sign is, is off. He did not know know yet that he was betrayed by Burl. <laughs> it was too busy going off about oh. how I, I said his tea wasn't quite as good. <laughs> oh yeah, what a betrayal. <laughs> <Just like that. laughs> oh my gosh. That was, that was pretty good. And, you know, to be fair, um, herbal tea in general does not taste very good. Oh no! Like it's it's not about taste. It's just hot water. It's just that Warren's is exceptionally worse than that. <laughs> it's like it's it's you actually forget. worse than just that leaf taste. You forget that I'm He's... part Earth. I quite enjoy the taste. <laughs> there we go. See. <laughs> so next time, and next Kappa... time, Warren be like, Clay at least appreciates my. Exceptional cooking with tea. <laughs> and Kappa may appreciate it because he doesn't know any better. <laughs> like, oh yes, you you land people drink this stuff. Oh. <laughs> I'm open to these cultural peculiarities. <laughs> but yes, okay. So I am going to hang up. Oh yeah, hot leaf juice. Right. There we go. That's it. That's How my party. How could a name. member of my own family <laughs> say something so horrible? All Why right, didn't we'll I say later. that to you, Burl? I know, right? How could a member of my own family say something so horrible? I feel like you're you're not my dad, Warden. I am your father, young lady, and you will respect uh, my authority. Later, guys. You're like, I am your adoptive uh, father, so that technically <laughs> makes me your family. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> all right. Good night, everybody. All right. All right. Take care. Night, all. Bye. Night. Night.